Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Uh, today is the day of the first quarter moon, so it's out looking pretty in the evening sky. It'll be above a bank of clouds hugging the ro Rockies again, making them look taller than they are, but it'll be up there in the sky. Sun is pretty active right now. These are going to rotate around, probably grow some. So, yep, still active sun, still active geomagnetic environment. Taking a look at drought conditions from January 4th to the 11th, and things are a little bit worse kind of over all of the northern mountains and down the front range. Um, we did get some moisture. The mountains are getting it much more than we are down here. We got maybe a tenth of an inch, a couple tenths in places. Looking nationwide, a little lessening of drought south of us and in the southeast. Smoke, nothing really to talk about. Okay, let's take a look at the snowpack. Now this is a day old, so it doesn't have what's fallen in the last 24 hours. But we've gone from, uh, back up here, 72% of normal up to 90% of normal. And I bet you we're to normal and climbing. We're going to continue to see western and high elevation mountain snows. So, and there's the amount of precipitation. You can see we got very little down here in the, oh, tenth of an inch area, almost a quarter in spots. It's not to get to the mountains that good stuff came down to even locally five inches. Looking at uh, convection and Severe thunderstorm chances, just about quiet. Florida thunder, and then for Friday, nothing. We get Wednesday, <coughs> western mountain and northwest mountain snows, heavy snows in the mountains. Again, you'll see the clouds to the west, but won't really be affecting lowlands much. We might see a little snow. It's possible, but it won't be much. For Friday, everything gets quiet, and another big wet storm moves into the Pacific. All right, so we do have this next front and a little chance of precipitation Wednesday into Thursday. We've bottomed out at 44 for a normal high, and we are dropping again a degree to 17 for the normal low, but we're at the bottom of what we expect. Sea temperatures do kind of go towards the upper part of normal uh, next week. Moisture, we have a little bit of moisture locally. We've got a big system off the uh, west coast. So there isn't much to highlight this time. We do have a little trough that's going to come through. That is Wednesday night into Thursday. And uh, mainly mountain snows. Little might blow over the edge. And the rest of this is going to go past us. Uh, the current model run, or sorry, one model run back had our next significant storm occurring January 31st. You can see upsloping right there. The next model run just came out and it's totally gone. So that's yeah, two weeks away. Um, so we're probably not going to see anything there. It also wasn't in the previous two or three runs before. Just one run created snowstorm. So let's take over the next 14 days. Generally northwest flow over the region. You get that ripple that went by. You get this west coast ridge with the storm digging in. That's coming over us by the weekend and into next week. That gives us a warmth there. Here comes the ridge again. There's a southern branch system going by. Storm digging way down on the 24th. Again, it's far to the south and another ridge tries to come in pretty progressive uh, pattern here so looking at temperatures that's our super cold air sloshing away off to the east that comes in the front for Wednesday into Thursday I've returned to cold temperatures briefly a lot colder out to our east and then that's gone we're back to being above normal. Here's another little bubble of cold, but really the next thrust there's New England and beyond, and the nation kind of warms up. There's that deep south system, cooling things a little bit, kind of then switches around, becomes very abnormally warm. 
for, well, I don't know why it's going that fast. For water vapor, you can see lots of water vapor around, just nothing for it to act in. That was really going too quick. For dew points, we are uh, getting a little more moisture in, and then after that Thursday system, really dry air returns. And let's take a look at this. So here's our Thursday into Friday storm. Just it's just down slope in the plains. Just really very little chance of anything. Here's the center of that cold air, big high pressure system. We're back above freezing Monday. Lots of rain in the west. Lots of drought relief going on. See that system went way down south and into Texas and up. Might get some severe weather come late part of next week. And yeah, we just stay kind of high and dry. So over the next five days, we might see a trace of snow or so. Over the next 10 days, maybe an inch. Maybe Boulder gets a couple. But uh, not sure where, really where that's coming from. Uh, so let's take a look at the temperatures. We got 40s. Friday we really chill again with a morning of 5. And uh, daytime high in the mid-20s. Nothing like the cold we just had though. But uh, that moderates and we're up to the 50s early next week. The very small chance of precipitation Thursday. So check out Longmont Leader for frequent weather updates and great temperatures.